Okay, just you know wrinkled ribbons. If you have girls, I or cook you... with them all the time. No, no, no this is oh. a kitchen tip. What? Something you do in the kitchen, not necessarily eat. Okay. This is my tips. I'm doing a solo here. Okay. Oh, I find okay. it. I have the necklace. What do I care? Yeah, really. <laughs> this, you know, I, I save all my kitchen my Christmas ribbons because I use them the next year. Oh, I rewrap smart. them. I put them in the girl's hair or something. But they always look like this. And to get the iron out and things, you know I'm not doing that. No, no, I can't see iron. So ribbon. watch this. This is incredible. You sink it in water. Look at this. You get it all wet. Go like that. Watch this. Put it in the microwave. <laughs> It will dry wrinkle free. Serious? On the refrigerator? I'm not kidding. Can I ask you how you figured that out? I read it in a book. Oh, okay. And do you know what else? What? Do you think you have big news with that necklace? What? What's the I'm big... having a baby. No. What? what? I'm no. pregnant. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> wow. Are you nuts? Are you me insane. I'm having a baby in October. Oh! Yep. You're a Scorpio I really am. I really am. Oh. The hardest thing I've ever Where done. Where did you find out? I look at how gross that was. We have to do another shower. I know. The I know. It ends over here. <laughs> Five kids. How excited to see, huh? Five kids and look at the body. I know. This is why you're having another kid. You look great. Another baby. I am incredible. Yeah, thank you. I honestly, you want to hear this? Yeah. I go to the hospital. My doctor's going out of the country. He says, you got to go to the hospital. You know, I went to have a pap smear because I was going to get a mammogram, remember? Right. I said, I'm finally going to get a mammogram. It's taken me two years to get the guts to do it. So I go and have this physical. And he says, you know, I would like, I'm going out of town. I'm going out of the country tomorrow. But something bothers me. Please go to Cedar sinai and have your blood drawn. What, what, At 7 in the morning. Didn't I now think I'm having cancer. I, wow, honest to yeah. God. He doesn't tell me what he's thinking. I think I'm having, I have oh cancer. I cry all the way to the hospital. Steve's with me. I get my blood drawn. I have such a bruise on my arm. He couldn't give you a urine test? It takes two seconds. No, he just, he really yeah. wanted, I don't think he wanted to, I think he wanted to make sure, make sure it was okay. really, 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 really true. And he want, and, and as he tells me now, he wanted to know by the numbers, you can tell how Many good weeks. a pregnancy oh, is. Oh, how good it is by right. the numbers. Okay. So I go, I'm crying, I know I have cancer, I'm dying. He calls and Steve answers the phone and he tells Steve, oh, I think Steve is going to die. <laughs> he actually <I'm> cried. <laughs> oh my God, so what did the doctor say to you? He, he told Steve, he says, she's not, he said, she thinks she's dying of cancer, please tell me there's nothing wrong. He <laughs> said, no, but you are having a baby. Oh wow. no! Wow. And what was Steve's reaction? He cried. He couldn't get over it. Yeah. He just couldn't get over it. I, I mean, we were not having it. any more children. I gave all, everything. Every, the Ann Douglas Center, which is for homeless women, a lot of homeless women are pregnant. I gave everything I owned oh. to them. Shower. We have, I have to, nothing. Oh now God. I have to do another shower. We, oh, my God. We've got to stay on the air another nine months, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, we have to stay on the air. we got to follow the through. Congratulations, so guys. We've got to do a little piece of business here. Uh, the Family Channel is going to become the Fox Family Channel on August 15th and help introduce that new format. We're going to give our home and family viewers special sneak previews. Some of the shows that are coming up, especially the daytime kids show. So today we're happy to introduce... Yeah, Candace can watch it now. She'll have yeah. nothing to do with That's it. right. <laughs> For a while. There's a new series coming up called Walter Melon. Not Watermelon, but Walter Melon. It's a comedy spoof on a superhero. Walter, a temp worker by day, superhero by night. Yeah, all right, I buy that. <laughs> Fights duels, dismantles bombs, and saves heroines. We have a clip. Take a look. I'll be over here. It's transmutation time. Violet. Carnation. Daisy. Yeah. Yeah. Rose. I. Mum. You can't stay mum. You have to shout your flower out loud. That is my flower. Mum. All right. In honor.
Sarah of Walter Mellon, and we want you to call us with any weird or funny temp job experiences or a, a weird job that you've had. Call us at 213-520-2100. We're going to ask you both when the time comes. I'm great. sure you have gems. Oh, yeah. All right, call us 213-520-2100. Uh, Lucinda, what are we doing today? Lucinda Bassett. Lucinda Bassett is back I'm, with us. I'm on, the, I'm on for the right show here. I mean, I was talking to Jamie before we went on the air, and she said, oh, my God, Christine is so lucky. She's wearing a fabulous jewel, and she's being followed around by a gorgeous man. That's what I want to marry. That's what I want to marry. Right, right. Right. So we're here to talk about um, an interesting statistic that recently came out in a study that says, this is the good news, 75% of married men are happy, they got what they wanted, they feel good about the relationship. The bad news is 75% of married women are not. And we're oh. here to find out what's going on there. But I want to know, Candace, were you using birth control? Was this a total Can surprise? I tell you the truth? Yeah, yes. please. <laughs> yes. My husband had a vasectomy and didn't go get it rechecked. <gasps> no, my I husband had a vasectomy too. <laughs> Oh my God! You're kidding! They don't the work. Work. No, they do oh work. God. But you know what? The irony is, three weeks before this, I was at lunch. Yeah. I was at lunch with Chris Jenner, as a matter of fact, and she says, "Did Steve ever go back and get his vasectomy checked?" I said, "No." I said, "He's too embarrassed to go back." I didn't get to check it. No, you have. Yeah, to go but back. how long ago did he have his vasectomy? A long time ago. Years, you're well, saying? Not a lot of years. years but yeah, two years. Like, uh, it was a segment. Years didn't we ago. do it on the show? <laughs> no, we didn't do it. On the show. <laughs> we use this. Do we use this? We use this. This is what we use. Come here, Steve. Come here. So she says, you know, our doctor, Paul Crane, who we both go to, said, you know, you can bring a specimen in, and he'll send it out to the lab so the guys don't have to go through the humiliation of it. I said, great, I'll do that. So I go into the... <laughs> oh, please, share it. Come on, come on. I go into the doctor's thing, and that's when he, he's, he then realizes, as he's doing all these exams, and I bring it in, that he there thinks I'm pregnant. Ones in there? No, he thinks oh. I'm pregnant. Oh. Wow. So he doesn't know how to tell me that he's not going to bother to send the thing in. Oh. Oh, is that embarrassing? That is amazing. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. She's so, I don't know. I know. So much information. It's just too much information. Yeah, TMI. Too much information. <laughs> also, I my kitchen tip of the day is, sure. please send your husband back. There you go. <laughs> I'm sending Tony this afternoon. Wow. I didn't know it couldn't work. Could you get Tony on the phone for me? <laughs> We're running just a little bit long here, but we want to make sure we introduce Amber Coffin, who's yes. also with us. She is Miss Teen USA. Nice to you know, she started her own charity at the age of eight years old. So, a wonderful service that she does for yeah. to help.